Launched in 2020, the Brooklyn Economic Justice Project, BEJP, is a community-based economic justice accelerator in central Brooklyn that fosters collective action among a hyper-local cohort of advocates and leaders to achieve economic liberation for women and gender-expansive people of color and their communities. Led by the New York Women's Foundation, with support and partnership from Foundation Chanel and Fox Studio, this place-based initiative and a rapidly gentrifying, diverse Black community centers the needs, experiences, and leadership of cisgender and transgender women and gender non-binary people of color and invests in their ideas and strategies for collective economic power and prosperity. Rooted in a gender and racial justice framework, this initiative creates an inclusive space for leaders to imagine, co-create, and realize their own futures. The Brooklyn Economic Justice Project is important because it really represents creating a space to truly achieve justice for the underrepresented people uh, in the People's Republic of Brooklyn. BJP, I would say it shifted the way, not necessarily changed the way I think about this work. Um, I never really had a relationship, or the organization never had a formal relationship with a foundation or the philanthropic community. So through this project, this was actually the first time that Central Brooklyn EDC received any support from a foundation. So that was a shift for me as an executive director. This, this way of working was a completely new world for, for us. And it also you know, just sort of opened up another pathway um, to discover you know, how we can serve the community and how we can build better relationships uh, with funders to you know, support our work. The Brooklyn Economic Justice Project is important to me and the organization because it is a rare collaboration, a foundation not just putting resources into a community, but actually putting their staff, their time, their board members, their energy to the, to the on the ground approach that we're doing in our communities. Uh, economic justice is, is important to be part of the process and not just the journey and the outcome. Fondation Chanel is an international corporate foundation with a mission to create the conditions for women and adolescent girls to be free to shape their own destiny. We know that those closest to the issues are oftentimes also closest to the solutions to those issues. And that many people and organizations who live and work in these communities already have the answers or the solutions to these challenges and that place-based investments are a critical and concrete way so that we can amplify solutions that work, reach more people who might oftentimes uh, fall through the cracks in traditional programming and traditional philanthropy and actually strengthen the resilience of these communities. I live, breathe, East Wabush in Central Brooklyn. This is where I was born, where I was raised, where I plan to spend the rest of my life. And this work means that we get to build new visions. We get to work with people who are doing the same things and care about the same things that we do. It means that we get to really invest in our own community. We get to go back home, bring resources, opportunities, get to talk to new people and to expand our own world and the relationships that we have. And for me, like that's like really what I want to spend as a legacy part of my life. In the first phase of this project, cohort members implemented a micro-granting program to support emerging nonprofits, businesses, and leaders in Central Brooklyn. The New York Women's Foundation provided support, resources, and guidance on how to implement the program. A new and expanded cohort is exploring what they want to do in the second phase of this project building on the experience of the microgrants while testing other pathways for economic security and justice for women and gender nonconforming residents of central Brooklyn and for communities of color in general. The cohort had to decide how to use these funds, right? So early on, Foundation Chanel, New York Women's Foundation, did this rare thing, they gave us a pot of money. What do you want to do with this? We have this, we don't want to decide, we want you to decide. The experience has been liberating. It has been completely liberating, you know, just even going through the process of figuring out what, what a micro-grant process should be, um, and more importantly, who the target audience should be. And I remember um, we spent some time actually 
thinking about the requirements or the criteria, we really wanted to stay focused on truly what economic justice means, right? Defining what that means and then how we would manifest it. And so I, re I remember when we were thinking about uh, the criteria and you know making sure that we removed all barriers, that we made it so easy for people to actually feel confident that they could apply for it. You know, there's so many opportunities out there where uh, nonprofit organizations or people who are thinking about starting nonprofit organizations are afraid. And so this, you know, it was really important that we created this process that felt real to people, that it felt accessible. And so I was really proud uh, that we were able to, you know, as a collective, come up with that process and have so many people apply for it. I really felt like the work that I do every day was respected and I didn't have to bend over backwards to do excess reporting or to check in and justify the decisions that I was making as part of the grant. And so it was very freeing. Um, and yeah, it just felt validating. We really felt like, you know, that what we were bringing to the table mattered enough to support us. And actually it was one of the first opportunities that we had to receive funding from anyone to actually do the work that we've been dreaming about doing in our community. Women's foundations have developed trusting relationships with grassroots leaders and organizations in a manner that larger institutions and corporate foundations have not proven ourselves to be that deserving of just yet. And um, women's foundations have this deep um, ongoing relationship with not just grassroots leaders and um, leaders, but uh, also policymakers, right? And they're able to navigate that spectrum with both fluency and sensitivity. What I would want funders to know about this project and the organizations that make up this cohort is that we're really representative of a lot of people who are really thinking and dreaming about how they can make a change in their own community. They have a lot of the answers. It's just that they don't have the funding or capability in terms of capacity to support those visions. But it's the work that we could do collectively by bringing larger organizations with their expertise, with the lived experience of people who are on the ground every day that really will make the difference. It's about how do we build and envision a world where everyone's experiences are valued, what they bring to the table is given the same leverage and support as people who have always been able to be at the table. Meaningful collaboration and the sharing of power with communities who have experienced generations of disinvestment is hard. It's challenging work. Place-based cohort work invites funders to break free of the self-imposed issue area restrictions that we have. Um, for example, as a funder of gender, we at Fondation Chanel, we had to listen deeply and with humility about what the priorities of women leaders in central Brooklyn are regarding their livelihoods, their homes, and their communities. That their envisioned ways of working and organizing fit both our strategy and principles of how women and adolescent girls in all their diversity work to have autonomy and self-determination. So projects like BEJP offer philanthropic institutions like ours and hopefully others and leaders throughout the sector the chance to be part of community, to collaborate with community, and to share power with community, which leads to more authentic and long-lasting change. It was a new idea that we were trying, and so to have unrestricted funds in that way to test out this idea, and then now we're going to evolve it, um, it was really helpful in that way, right? Like when you're working with small resources already, it can feel like a high risk to try something new, but the BEJP grant allowed us to try something that we wanted to try for a long time and to lay the foundation for future iterations of it. So yeah, it was really important to our work.